while they're kind of doing that, this is called cone game. Uh, this is one of our favorites that we do. It's, it's a conditioning drill, but again, it's for fun. It's some, it's some agility work. Uh, what? Yeah, that's fine. You guys want to do that too? Sorry. Uh, so what we're going to do with this drill, we always start right in the center uh, on that end line there. What they're going to do is they're going to all, every single time you sprint to the middle cone, okay, you can do whatever pattern you want. The cones are either going to start up or down. You're going to go to either, whichever cone they want, it's up to them. Uh, first person's going to go flip that cone up or down. Once they get all of them set, always going through the middle, they're going to finish through and going. It's a lot easier if you guys just watch it. It's kind of tough to explain it, but this is going to be a conditioning drill called Cone Game. Again, I like to have them facing like this for that competition side of it. Makes it fun, and they go hard. Go! Always through the middle cone. Always through the middle. That quick feet, not getting too extended, learning how to drive out. Come on, come on. There we go. Make sure you get to the middle. Good job. Ooh, I think it's this side. <laughs> Oh, one nothing over there. <laughs> okay, so you guys can see how the cone game can be a lot of fun. Uh, they can compete. If you screw up, it really gets after you. And, and usually what we do is, uh, you know, I'll take a tally of, of some of these drills and, and what team wins and what team doesn't, and there's always consequences for losing. Uh, that's what makes it really fun for us. Um, one more? You guys want to do one more? One more? You guys good? All right. Short. Carp, I got you. Don't worry, Carp, I got you on that one. Don't worry. This one, usually on the cone game, we do, um, we'll play best of seven. Uh, usually this is something we do after warm up, uh, quick feet, plyos, agility. So this is always usually last, so we're always pretty tired, uh, so the volume is pretty low. That's why we normally go best of seven. Uh, again, you can do as many as you want, you can have as many courts going as you can have for as many cones as you have. Ready? Go! I just like to step back and watch. Let them have fun. Working hard, having fun. Come on, come on. Let's go, fire out, let's go! Good job, Mark. Good job, Deja. Ooh. Oh, get to the middle. Oh. Man. This cone, man. Come on, finish hard now. Finish hard. Good, good job. Nice. That's our cone game. Uh, again, on this drill, what we're really trying to work on is the first time I normally do this, we see a lot of overextended steps. Um, right now, they're pretty good. Um, especially with some taller girls that you'll have. You know, they'll want to get over here and they'll do this and they'll just be way over at the waist and they'll be way over like this and all that's just really slowing down. And, and you know, that can kind of lead to injury. So you teach them how to have them feet underneath them, uh, firing out, staying low, having that good technique, firing out. Whenever you get bent like this, you slow down. You know, I want them bending here and staying strong on the hips, firing out, being quick, feet underneath them. Um, sometimes, you know, it, again, it kind of gets weird having that big step, that first step for your back row people. Uh, for a drill like this, though, the quick feet planting underneath their hips and firing out is going to help in the long run, learning how to get fast out of that position. Uh, that's our cone game.